hello everyone if you have seen my previous videos on the residential project you would know that right now i am creating tutorials on a complete and detailed project of a house including its interior the link to the previous two parts is given below in the description box here you can see that i have created the cabinets of a kitchen as a part of this house in the 3d you can see all the details which i have created as a part of this kitchen including these chair the, these chairs the stools the refrigerator which i have placed as a components here and i have uh, drawn these uh, cabinets as a model in place in the part two i have created these kitchen cabinets which are along this wall including all the shelves and its doors for this video i have created this countertop which has these drawers on both of its sides then it has this cooking range this uh, sink and also a little bit of this dining area the chairs and stools which you can see here i have downloaded it from rabbitcity.com you can also see the details in the sectional elevations of the kitchen design So now before I continue the, with the video, I ask you to like and share my videos, leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel for more updates. And if you have any sort of query, you can ask me anytime. So now let's start. This is where I have left in the previous part, the link of which is given below in the description box. Now I'm going to create uh, the countertop and a little bit of dining area. As you can see in this uh, image of the plan view before drawing the cabinets first of all let's place the cooking range and the sink for that I'm going to load the family from this uh, library go to special equipment uh, uh, folder and here you can see a variety of cooking range refrigerators sinks uh, ovens etc which are part of a kitchen and then uh, load the desired component into the file and place it on level one floor plan you can also adjust the dimensions of this cooking range from this dialog box In the similar manner, place the sink on this floor plan. Here you can see a variety of components in this folder. Load the one which you want to place in your project file. Then place it at its position. To work in the elevation view, create a sectional place a sectional line at this part you can adjust the view range of the section by dragging these arrows and here you can see the sectional elevation in this tab and now you can see that the cooking range and the sink has been placed now go to component model in place select generic model from this folder if you want assign a name to it then click ok let's name it counter design then go to section 2 elevation and place a reference line at a height of 3 feet from the floor level assign a name to this reference plane i am going to name it counter top then go to level 1 floor plan select extrusion from the create tab set the reference plane to this countertop 
and with the help of rectangle draw the counter top at this part draw rectangle here so that uh, the extrusion is not created at the sink and the end above this cooking range give it an extrusion and value of 1 inches then click ok and now you can see that it has been extruded above the reference plane but I want it to be extruded below it so I am going to add at the value of minus 1 inches at the extrusion end. Now select void sweep to create a nosing at the edges of this countertop. Sketch the path after selecting the reference plane of this countertop. Then click on edit profile. In this south elevation, you cannot see the countertop part because there is a wall be, uh, before it. So for that, go to section to elevation and draw the profile for the nosing. Now go to level 1 floor plan. Place a reference plane at this point. Move it at 1 inches. Because the uh, this counter top is extruded a little bit more as compared to the cabinets below it. Now in the section to elevation uh, place some reference planes according to the design of the cabinets. Here I am placing these reference planes according to the design of the uh, drawers which I need at both sides of the of this cooking range. With the help of extrusion, draw a box by setting the reference plane at A, which we have drawn at the level 1 floor plan. Instead of giving the value, you can adjust the extrusion by dragging these arrows as well. So for this tutorial, I am going to make use of these arrows instead of adding the values. Now I'm going to add some more reference planes according to the number of the drawers which I want to create within this cabinet. With the help of void extrusion create some openings within this box. Assign one more reference plane at the level 1 floor plan at a distance of 1 inches from the previous one. 
and then again adjust this extrusion with the help of the arrow with the help of these arrows then go to section to elevation select extrusion from the create tab make this part adds the reference plane and then create the elevation for the extrusion as shown in the video I need one more reference plane at a distance of one inches you can make use of this copy command move this extrusion a little bit uh, below uh, one to meet the previous uh, uh, this new reference plane and now I am going to place some reference plane at these four sides as I at this according to the dimensions of the uh, cabinet door or basically the uh, front part of the drawer which has to be placed on these drawers then pla uh, place two dimensions of uh, height and width and assign parameters to it now with the help of extrusion and afterwards the white extrusion draw the inner part of the drawer Now copy and paste this extrusion on the below part as well. Now place the component which is the front part of the door at this position in the level 1 floor plan and assign parameters to the dimensions of this to the height and width of this door so that both of them are linked to each other and then with the help of align command place this part at its position copy and paste this part at the other at, at other two draws as well now select all of these components of extrusion and white extrusion and simply mirror it as I want to place these draws on the other side of this of this cooking range as well if the void if the void is not created 
after you have pasted it then make use of this cut command to create the to create these voids now place some reference planes on this part according to the design of the cabinets and repeat the exact same process of extrusion and void extrusion to create the cabinets at these parts. The process is same which I have used in the part two, part two of my video and now in this part.
the kitchen cabinets for the sectional elevation is complete now go to level 1 floor plan and here click on finish model and place an other sectional line so as to create component so as to create cabinets on the other side as well so for that go to this section 3 tab and here you can see that by, mis by mistake I have accidentally uh, I have wrongly placed this void extrusion so with the help of these arrows adjust this void extrusion so that it is placed so that it remains inside these cabinets and does not create openings at the back Now uh, here I'm going to place some other uh, some more drawers by repeating this repeating the exact same process.
in this part after preparing the drawers i am going to create an extrusion as as shown in the video this is basically where i'm going to place the stool so it does not have any sort of cabinets or drawers in here Here I am uh, placing that base of the cabinets which is 3 inches in height. The sink is somewhat larger in size, so here I am going to adjust its position, adjust its dimensions, and then I am going to place it at its exact position. And then by going to this uh, extrusion, I am going to adjust the dimensions for of the countertop opening. For this small dining table area, I'm going to. I have uh, I've created a new generic model in place component, and then I'm going to drop with the help of extrusion as shown in the video. With the help of void extrusion, create an opening within this box after adjusting after adjusting its dimensions. The kitchen cabinets are now complete and it kind of looks like this. 
buffer needs to be extruded uh, at the same line as of these kitchen cabinets so going to adjust it in this 3d okay save the project now go to level one floor plan and so now this is the stool which i have downloaded from rabbitcity.com load it into the project and place it at its position this tool is fully parametric where its height is parametric as well as its materials so go to section 3 elevation and then select it go open this dialog box and adjust the dimensions of height In this similar manner, load these chairs, load this chair into the project and then place it at its position. So that's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. In the next video, I will continue from here. If you have any sort of difficulty or there was anything which you didn't understand, you can ask me anytime. Uh, in the next video we will do the interior of the living room of this house so i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe